Lauren. We're here at the second annual signature dish competition, a celebration of our fresh local produce and the culinary talent of our finest chefs here on the mid-north coast. Twelve of the best will deliver their signature dish for our panel of judges today. Their knives are sharpened, the utensils are poised and the ingredients are prepped. Now, let's see whose dish will reign supreme. from Bevis Pavilion down in Sydney has come all the way up today as a judge, as the guest chef judge. Serge, what impresses you about our local chefs here? Well, just obviously the use of uh, local produce. I think that's really important and it was the idea. And for me, that's really what, important for me because that's what I've done when, since I came to Australia 30 years ago, is to work with small producer. So I think in a sense, that's why I was invited is to, is to make sure to see the growth of what can be done in the region and what I've done with the food today. So you can see lots of local pork, local duck, uh, the beef and, and lots of local fish also. That's extremely good to see that. We're here with John from Casa Grain Wines here in Port Macquarie. John, you're one of the judges today. Why is it so important to use fresh local produce? Uh, there's so many reasons. One, because it is fresh. But secondly, um, it just supports the local community and you know, it just showcases off what we can do in this region. And as a judge, what are you looking for in the dishes today? I guess I'm looking for um, dishes that are going to really emphasise what we can do locally. Uh, freshness, cleanness, um, a bit of complexity, I guess, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. You're looking forward to tasting them? Certainly am. Yeah. And uh, yeah, already we've seen the standards up from last year. So I think it's, it's fantastic. Here with Ashley from McCure Synergy Restaurant here in Port Macquarie. Ashley, what are you preparing today? I've got a uh, blue eye cod uh, with a saffron velouté sauce and uh, king prawns, scallops, poached in an acid butter with salmon rung. Using our fresh local seafood. Of course. Is it good luck to you today, Ashley? Thank you very much. Okay, hi Natalie, where are you from? Kingfisher Cafe at Bluey's Retreat. And what are you preparing for us today? Um, we have a beef roulade with um, pistachios, a red wine reduction, a yabby tail stuffed potato and a nougat. Chad's here from Three Nippers Restaurant at Australis Beach. Chad, what are you preparing today? Oh, I'm doing a tornados of Warhope beef, um, some nice crispy skin snapper, um, good old Crowdy uh, Bay King Prawn. Also, it will be served on a uh, um, caramelised onion, bush tomato and Hastings Valley yoghurt. Crude. Okay, we've got Dustin here from Blue Bottle at Will Gulga. Dustin, what are you preparing today? Uh, at the moment, just a pomegranate syrup for my pork fillet with my red wine poached pear and my puff pastry and prosciutto milfoy. Okay, fantastic. What local produce have you used in your dish? Uh, basically all of it. Pork, pomegranates, um, mint from the hydroponics and... Um, puff pastry that we made ourselves, I suppose. We've got Glenn from Zest Restaurant. Glenn, you were last year's winner. Are you feeling the pressure today? Or all eyes are on you? No, of course, it's um, a lot more pressure than last year. So, got to step it up a little bit, hopefully. So, have you stepped it up with a really exciting dish? Hope so. Uh, we're doing a uh, Maclay Valley rabbit wrapped in prosciutto with a, an olive paint through the middle of it. Um, we're serving that with uh, red cabbage choucroute. Uh, confit of carrots and a juniper berry foam. So hopefully we might win them over. We're here with Lee from Bonville Golf Resort. Lee, what are you preparing for the judges today? Um, garam masala spiced duck. Um, it's local duck. It comes from Stewart's Point. Um, it also comes with oyster mushrooms, local broccolini, um, our local potatoes and local garlic. We've got Michael here from Ridges right here in Port Macquarie. Michael, what are you preparing today? Today we have a tea smoked duck breast served with a uh, spiced blood orange sauce and a um, sweet potato macadamia mash. We're here with Chris from Lux Cafe. Chris, what are you preparing for the judges? Uh, I'm doing a rotolo of um, pasta, which is rolled pasta cooked in like tea towel um, with a duck breast um, with dried red currants uh, and um, fresh ricotta and roast mushrooms. Okay, we're here with David from the Stun Mullet here in Port Macquarie. David, what are you preparing today? I'm doing local jewfish on a cauliflower potato five spice hash and an Armani lime and yellow curry sauce. <laughs> we have Josh Mills from Aqua Blue in Nelson Bay. Josh, what are you preparing today? Today it's an ocean, ocean assiette uh, comprised of five different dishes. Um, 
pretty complicated and as you can see my fast is about to burn so I better let you go. Hey Todd, tell us where you're from today. I'm from the corner restaurant in Port Macquarie. Hey, fantastic and what are you preparing? Uh, I'm doing a uh, local Muscovy duck done three different ways. So I've got a crown roast of breast, a uh, duck neck sausage and a duck riette. We're here with Matthew Armstrong. Matthew, you're the head judge for, th for today. That's what right. are the judges looking for in today's dishes? Okay, firstly what we're looking for is uh, uh, presentation, definitely. Uh, we're looking for a lot of technical skill regarding bench work, stove work. We're also then looking at local ingredients, uh, as many local ingredients as they can use. Uh, line court snapper, uh, ho uh, grown beef from the area, and uh, presentation and how the dish is actually going to be uh, presented with photography. And so far from what you've seen, what, what are your impressions? Oh look, the, the standard is a lot, has increased a lot better. Glenn, our winner last year, has really uh, put a very uh, good standard up last year and everyone's come to the table and really pushed, push, pushed it a lot higher. So we had very, very good standard on it. It was quite difficult to choose the last three winners, but I think we've, we've narrowed down to probably four extremely high standards that had good flavour. And I think at the end of the day, that's what was important. It's the flavor, it's the combination, it's the intelligence that goes in the dish, it's the use of the local ingredient, but also the balance that if the ingredient works together in the presentation and the practicality also in the restaurant. Would it work in a restaurant? Would the public eat it? And it's important that it was going to be a main course because we had one excellent dish, but it was going to be an entree, so that unfortunately had to be dismissed and, and we had to rely on the other three. And then we graded them and I think we've come up with a winner. Okay, third prize goes to David at the Stun Lower. Uh, second prize. Uh, Todd from the corner. The winner of 2009 Signature Dish first goes to Glenn from Possessed. Glenn Thompson, the winner of the 2009 Signature Dish Award. Glenn, how does it feel to hold your title for a second year? Oh, it's good, but I think I might have to retire after this one. Oh, so you're not be too hard for me uh, to go for a third time, I think. Oh, I think you should make it third time. Lucky, come back in 2010. <laughs> we'll see. I might send up one of the guys. And just remind us what the dish was that you presented to the judges today. Uh, it's prosciutto wrap farm rabbit, and inside it's got a black olive paint that we just paint the inside of the loin with, rolled with prosciutto and then that's oven roasted. It's served with a choux croup which is like a pickle cabbage puree. With that we have a confit of uh, baby carrots, pickled eschalots and then a juniper berry foam. Excellent, it was definitely one of my favourites. Is this going to go on the menu at Zest now? Yeah, it has to now. It has to have a bit of a, a stint on the menu now. Well, you've heard it at Focus TV first. Head down to Zest Restaurant. You can taste their beautiful dish. 